Hi, I'm Michel Haslungs, part of the Global Solution Management Organization at SAP, responsible for the area of financial planning and analysis. In this video, I'll walk you through the business reasons and the basics around universal parallel accounting, which has been introduced in its first iteration in SAP S4 HANA Cloud 2105. Globally operating organizations must submit financial statements according to multiple local accounting principles. For management purposes, they also prepare financial statements according to a common accounting principle, for instance IFRS, across all locations. Ledgers are used to distinguish between these approaches. One ledger captures financial information according to a common accounting principle, so the same approach is used to value assets and inventory, recognize revenue and so on. A second ledger captures financial information in accordance with the various local or industry-specific reporting requirements. The ledgers determine which currencies are used. All journal entries include a global currency and a local currency, and a further currency may be added as required. On top, the ledgers control the calendar used as well. This design principle in itself is not new. For business touring purposes, internationally operating organizations require a group view where intercompany profits between trading partners are eliminated in real time, also known as group valuation. Additionally, a business unit review might be required where transfers to another business unit are treated as an external sale, basically at arm's length. Thirdly, some organizations have the requirement for an operating division view where intercompany prof profits are eliminated within the operating view, but transfers to another operating divisions are treated as an external sale. Historically, there were limitations with carrying multiple valuations through the entire financial process in a unified way, especially from the management accounting perspective. Business transactions of affiliated companies, including through company markups in the leading up, in reality, these are often eliminated in a separate, often spreadsheet-based process. With universal parallel accounting, some steps can take place within operating accounting environments in real time, with evaluation views handled as ledgers. Imagine the following situation. An investment project which consumes materials, activities and other direct costs. When the investment project is finalized, it gets capitalized as an asset under construction in the end, a finished asset. Depreciation kicks in, which ends up in a specific area of responsibility, typically represented by a cost center, whereby asset capitalization values differ between gaps. Depending on the situation, the cost on this cost center gets allocated. Up till here, handling multiple valuation views is covered, apart from the project settlement, which is based on a group valuation principle. Continuing our example, Consuming these costs in a production process, inventory valuation upon completion of the production process and the analysis by different market segments when sold are only tracked by the group accounting principle, typically. The same principle applies when getting into more complex situations, like when applying actual costing, as an example. Mind you, this does not mean that multiple valuations cannot be tracked but it's not done in a harmonized end-to-end -end way. As a result, a parallel valuation of assets, inventory items and so on are not connected end-to-end -end necessarily. With universal parallel accounting, we establish a parallel value flow across the end-to-end -end processes. Looking back at the exact same process example, this results in the elimination of the breakpoint we saw before when my asset is getting consumed in my production process. By introducing the ledger as a single harmonized way to handle parallel valuations end-to-end, -end, a universal solution for general ledgers and all sub-ledgers resulting in fully aligned financial and management accounting, including currency management, is made available. This becomes tangible when looking at how we report on assets, inventory, costs and my overall bottom line. Switching between different valuation principles is done by selecting the appropriate appropriate ledger. As you can see, this way companies can easily follow parallel accounting standards for group and local gap affecting inventory valuation, WIP, asset values and so on. As mentioned at the start of this video, the business requirement coming up on top of this from an unconsolidated level is the also bring the possibility to have this parallel valuation insight on consolidated level. 
As for steering purposes, customers are required by group view where intercompany profits between trading partners are eliminated in real time to deliver management insights on group level during the period. To make clear how this works, let's have a look at the ledger overview. Applying the ledger concept allows to have a local view, ledger 1, next to the group view following the group valuation principle, ledger 2. And by applying the group reporting solution within S4HANA, also the consolidated view after having executed the end-to-end -end consolidation process. Through the planned introduction of an additional third ledger, the group level insight become available in real time as intercompany profits between trading partners are emulated in real time. This includes the intercompany elimination at cost coming straight from the transactional postings. Original postings and elimination postings for internal revenue and COGS are stored in this additional ledger. This end-to-end -end way of dealing with parallel valuation on group level is a key baseline for bringing the concept of value chain analysis to reality. In case you'd like to learn more about this, please have a look at the dedicated video on that concept. Universal Parallel Accounting is currently available in SAP S4HANA Cloud. It's also planned to become available for other deployment methods for S4HANA in 2022. Currently targeting new implementations only, whereby processes which go beyond the public cloud scope will not be enabled initially. To conclude, let me emphasize that this universal parallel accounting is the baseline not only for value chain analysis, but also other innovations like intelligent asset accounting, which is delivered together with the universal parallel accounting in cloud already. Thank you for your attention and let us know in case you'd like to discuss this further.